Hey there, welcome to Play Noggin. I'm Julian, your brain's player too. Science fiction has been obsessed with thinking, feeling robots for a long time. From the pens of authors like Philip K. Dick and William Gibson and Isaac Asimov, we read stories that run the gamut from utopian idealism to terrifying hellscape apocalypse. And often, the good or the bad brought about in these worlds was due to the proliferation of artificial intelligence. We've seen it in a lot of games, too, so naturally, we have something to say about it. Today, we're talking about the Talos Principle. Spoiler warning, if you don't want to know the plot of the Talos Principle, you have until the end of this sentence to skedaddle. Alright, here we go. The Talos Principle is the story of artificial intelligence in the aftermath of a plague that has wiped out all of humankind. A super virus had lain dormant for ages, frozen in polar ice, but global warming happened and now here we are. Or I guess here we aren't. Before humanity died off, a group of researchers created the Extended Lifespan Project, which is essentially artificial intelligence. A new species of mechanical, almost humans, that could access a database of all human information. That's where you come in. You are an artificially intelligent life form. In the game, I mean. You're taking part in a simulation to test your ability to solve complicated puzzles. It's determining whether you're intelligent or not. See, the field of artificial intelligence research is the study of what's known as intelligent agents. That is, any computer or device showing awareness of its own environment and behaving in such a way as to increase its chances of achieving a particular goal. In the Talos Principle, your goal is enlightenment through solving puzzles, obviously. And you demonstrate your own intelligence by completing that goal. So if you get frustrated and rage quit, it's easy to work that into the fiction. In that particular playthrough, you were a defective model or something. Reboot, try again, no big deal. In fact, it's how we're currently developing AI. We tend to think of artificial intelligence as a very recent development. Things like self-driving cars or personal assistants like Alexa or Hey Siri, call that girl I have a crush on. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Anyway, those sorts of developments are fairly recent, but AI has a rich history that goes back decades. In the mid-1950s, artificial intelligence research began in earnest. Scientists were optimistic about the potential for the technology, but in the 70s, the government, which was supplying most of the funding, quickly grew bored and preferred research working on something else. It's crazy to think how far along the technology might be today if research had installed in what's known as an AI winter. Now that AI research is gaining steam again, the future proposed by the Talos Principle doesn't seem too far-fetched. Well, except for the whole wiped out by a super virus thing. You know, I hope. We're seeing things today that existed firmly in the realm of science fiction less than a decade ago. Whether it's real-time translation in Skype, beating a champion Go player, or computers that can positively identify cat videos, the advances are startling. Personal assistants, like I mentioned before, are creating a bridge to that sort of crazy advanced intelligence as we see in the game. But our digital assistants are still just input-output devices, not thinking machines like you and the smart aleck computer terminal Milton. They need us to issue a command for them to carry out. But researchers are continuing to push toward a future of proactive programs that are self-motivated. So how do you make a computer that really, truly thinks? The current AI process looks like this. To start, AI takes in pertinent information, either through sensors or through human input. Next, the AI takes the data it's collected from the outside world and checks it against its stored information. Does it know how to solve this problem already? With our limited AI tech, most systems must be taught how to solve a problem before it can solve it. The ability to do so must be hard-coded in, but we're making strides towards machines that can truly teach themselves. So when you see that force field in the game and you determine that placing a jammer in front of it disables it, what's happening in-game is your AI is learning that this action solves this particular problem. Afterwards, the AI understands that this is a workable solution. As more layers of complexity are added on, the AI is forced to record more data to come up with new solutions. It can do this because programmers write complex algorithms or step-by-step -step procedures written in computer code that instruct the AI how to learn new things. Real algorithms today have to see thousands or millions of examples of a problem to write their own code that solves it, a process called deep learning. It's why the Talos Principle makes you start over if you fail the final test. For a human, starting over is a pain, but as computer processing power goes up, it takes less and less time to process all that data and write new code. Now, facial recognition software written by computers that were shown millions of faces can outperform software written by experts in the field. Of course, just because a program can do one thing really well doesn't mean it's as smart as a human. That's called artificial narrow intelligence. The goal in Talos Principle is to make a machine that's comparable to a human at a wide range of tasks, or artificial general intelligence. One of the most well-known tests for if AI hits that benchmark is called the Turing test. 
An AI passes the test if it can anonymously converse with a human judge for 5 minutes and fool the judge into thinking it's human 30% of the time. You actually take the Turing test in the game when you try and fool Milton into thinking you're human. Of course, since all humanity is wiped out, you're actually a machine trying to prove you're human to a machine. And since you're actually human IRL, you're a human trying to prove you're human to a computer. So you're taking a Turing test and a reverse Turing test at the same time. Ah, I love the Talos Principle. Anyway, despite what Elon Musk might tell you, we don't have to worry about AI overlords conquering the world, at least not yet. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for games, leave them in the comments down below. Also, what are your thoughts on AI? Will robots be the saviors of humanity or will we have to invest in hockey sticks? Let us know down in the comments too. And don't forget to keep on playing.